Let's get the party started. Grandma, you weren't invited. That's the best kind of party, little girl. Mama Mia. Mamma Mia, here we go again. Ten years after Mamma Mia was released, the follow-up to the blockbuster is hitting theaters. And who's here to talk to us about this? None other than Direct conversations.com film critic Tim Lammers. Thanks for stopping by, Tim. Thank you, Adrian. Of course, you're right. Ten years already for this. Who even knew that there was going to be a sequel? But there is a sequel, again, featuring the music of ABBA, and ABBA fans are going to love it. Let's take a look. Hit it! I don't know what my future holds, but the world is wide. I want to make some memories. There's an island, Calicari. People used to think if you sailed on from there, you'd fall off the edge of the world. That sounds like the place for me. And that is Lily James, uh, who stars as the young Donna, the young version of Meryl Streep in Mamma Mia. Uh, this is a prequel slash sequel. Um, it's more about the young Donna and her daughter, uh, Sophie, played by Amanda Seyfried, and not so much Meryl Streep. We only get Meryl Streep in one scene in this film. Only we one? only get Cher in one scene, but they're very powerful when they appear. Look, I don't think you can top that original. It was a stage play, first of all, stage musical, which is brilliant. The film, I love the film. Just wasn't quite there for me. It's good, not great. Two and a half stars for this one out of four. Kid quotient none. I just think this is more for the adult crowd. A decade later. Crazy, the folks absolutely think. crazy. Well, Tim, besides this movie, you have a review on The Equalizer, too. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, Denzel Washington back. The first sequel he's done in his career, believe it or not, based on The uh, Equalizer film from a couple of years back. And Denzel is as great as ever. Let's take a look. You're not going to ask me if she got home okay? <laughs> this is the point where usually I'd... Uh give you a chance to do the right thing, but not tonight. Tonight I'm gonna need your cameras, cell phones, anything you might have used to record what you did to her. You knocked on the wrong door tonight, Pops. And that's Denzel Washington in The Equalizer 2. He is back as an ex-CIA agent who is retired. Uh, he's uh, taking care of messes here and there, getting people out of trouble uh, until some ex-colleagues of him start to drop dead. There's a hit list. He is on that hit list, so naturally he has to get back into the game. It, it's as deadly as ever. Again, Denzel, the guy can't do wrong. He's such of a natural in this. I think it's a little bit predictable at times, too predictable for its own good. But overall, if you're a Denzel fan, I think you're really going to like this picture. You can't go wrong with you Denzel. Cannot.